This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Wednesday, March 6th, and as always, everything we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. All right, so let's take a look at what we got going on out there. First thing is NIO. So NIO has just absolutely gigantic buying that came in at that 10 level. We got a nice little push that was coming into the close uh, yesterday. Uh, more than so this afternoon into the close. We started coming back down a little bit. Um, but we could see in earnings, they brought it all the way back down towards that eight level. And I know we had made a joke yesterday about the eight and how that if, if I was them, I would bring it all the way back down there before they eventually let this thing go up. Um, one thing that we know about it is they have no problem with time. They've been building and doing this for uh, for a very, very, very long time. So Overall, um, I see, you know, I don't see any difference. I, you know, it's a huge pullback based off of gigantic buying that we just had there for days and days and days. And don't forget as well is that when we were coming back down towards that 10 level, we did definitely got selling riders that were coming back into this. So going to be looking at that eight level, just like, just like we were months ago as we are right back towards that level. So going to be looking at that this morning to see if there's anything that kind of, uh, kind of sticks out and if we start to see that position getting built again as of right this second it's just you know a pretty heavy downtrend very mixed between its buying and selling you did get some huge selling right around that minor but other than that we're gonna have to see what comes in at that eight um, before we really make any type of other any type of decisions based off of what we're gonna be looking for it to do you know a bounce up two dollars on you know the amount of volume that we see trading already I you know it's not out of the question so just keep that in mind as we're watching next thing look at this BZUN I actually have a pretty big list today. So BZUN, we can see just on a pretty much a tear this morning. Um, but one thing that we got to notice is that pretty much on this entire tear, we haven't really seen much buying coming into the stock. Um, overall, most of what we've seen coming in is selling. I mean, you can see this 38 level, you can see the 39 level, no real buying coming up to the 40. So basically what that tells us is that it does not, it's not going to last. I mean, there's just not really any volume on this this gigantic move up. And that's mostly just because the fact that there's so, such a big gap between orders as well as uh the order is just being extremely thin, but overall, like I said, I mean, I just don't see the buying, you know, to sustain and be able to hold this thing above 40. We know 40 is going to be a psychological level. It's going to be a hard level to hold. And with the selling that's underneath it, it really just looks like it's being pushed up on that. So I am not convinced at all on this move towards that upside. Next one is BPTH. So we have not talked about this in a few days and it has jumped back up. Um, we know overall coming back up towards that eight, that 850 and under the under the nine. I don't think we actually hit the nine. Let me just look real quick now. OK, so about eight and 850. We know we had some really good buying that came back into this. We know on a huge volume day, a lot of times we end up seeing it come right back into the opposite direction. Um, but coming into this morning, not too bad. Looking over at that seven level, you can see that we did get some nice buying that came in at seven, not only the first time, um, but the second time. So we, there's definitely new buying that's been coming into this level and kind of holding there and having that buying back up at the 850. As long as we don't get any type of kiss of death once the market opens, it certainly has the potential for us to be able to uh, to see this thing run back up towards these highs that we saw to uh so three days ago, excuse me. All right, moving along, we have ANF. This is another one that this morning, it's uh, it's looking pretty decent. Um, you know, it's it's definitely more of a slow mover. On average, trades 87 cents. We are going to be expecting more than that based off of, of I'm going to have to assume earnings or whatever the cause of this to, to jump up like that. But overall, we do have a little bit of new buying that came in at 24.50. Nothing special. Um, you know, the printed themselves throughout the pretty much this entire morning. I'm not, it's nothing really that great that's out there that gives us, you know, a, a real true big show of hand out there. But we're pushing towards 24.50, getting some new buying coming in. Um, the fact that the buying has just been, you know, rather the orders rather small. You know, most of the buying that we're seeing coming into this is, you know, under a thousand share prints that are coming there. Um, but like I said, you know, based off of having such small orders out there, this is, you know, essentially it's it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good start. Pretty nice, you know, good, nice, uh, has nice new buying sitting at that 2450 area. So keep that in mind as we're going to be looking for kind of a pullback towards those prints that we had at 24 um, before we definitely have the room to get back up there. Next one, Dollar Tree, DLTR. So this one is on average trades about $2. We can see 400,000 shares trading in volume already. Basically what that tells us is we're going to be expecting a lot more than that $2 range, which we could kind of see happening already. Um, 99, some decent new buying. It didn't really get much as we were coming back up towards uh, – Towards that hundred level, I mean, you know, it, it's got it definitely has some new buying, but not as much as we'd like to see at all. I mean, coming back over here, you could see most of it between the bid and ask, 
uh, excuse me, below the bid. Um, and you have a little bit of selling up at that 150, which it's kind of pulling back already from. It, it just needs more. This is one of one of those stocks where we know the orders are going to be very thin. We're looking for four or five bursts of prints, and right from there, we're going to go. Okay, so if it's ass prints, we're going to be expecting a pretty drastic pullback before a really nice move up, and then obviously vice versa for uh, for bid prints. All right, but this is certainly going to give a nice trade. It, it always, it, you know, stocks like this always do, and they makes it really easy to read when most of it's between the pin and ask. And you know, when you get those, you know, it doesn't happen too often. You're going to get those four or five burst prints that came in, come in at once. So when we see that, that's going to be the trade that we're going to be looking for. And GE, GE this morning is kind of just pushing down. And if you remember on the day that it was just, it's just kind of sitting around. We saw that huge selling. We were waiting for the stock. If I remember correctly, it was a print line. Because it had a beautiful setup. It's not going to let me go all the way back. Um, but yeah, from the previous days ago, I think it was like around pretty much around 925, somewhere in that area, 10 being a hard level for it to be able to hold. And then I had a print line down here that we were looking for. And it did it did exactly that. It takes a little bit a little bit of time because of the fact that GE only moves about 40 cents per day. Um, but overall, did exactly what we we're looking for. This is one of those stocks, just very slow, controllable. You're not going to, you know, I mean, unless you're trading a ton of shares, you're not going to be making, you know, five dollars on a, this type of trade. But once again, it's kind of towards the lower side, a level one, two, three type trade trader um just an easier stock to control keep in mind easier stock to control a lot harder of a stock to read because of how many prints come into this and how high the actual volume itself is so you kind of have that uh that double-edged sword there okay it's an easier it's an easier stock trading wise but it's a harder stock to actually read to be able to trade so just you know something that's on towards the bottom of my list and then i have a side list stock sslt S S L T and I obviously wrote that down wrong. It is S S L J. All right. So this one is on my side list. And the only reason being is that right now the volume is at 1.6 million. It usually trades 195,000 shares, which you know, want to talk about an anomaly based off of volume. That's if that's not one that I don't know what is. Um, so overall, we are holding on absolutely no volume. If you look at it here, it definitely has that, you know, uh, that pattern that we look for in these cheaper stocks. Um, is it gonna trade once the market opens? I don't know. Right now it's very quanty, it's very ugly. That's why it's on the side list. But whenever I see something like this that happens within volume, and keep in mind 195,000 shares on average is, is taking into account yesterday's 2.7 million, which is very, very abnormal. We can see it made a real, real nice move. So let's keep our eyes on that. You know, We'll see what happens once we get up to pretty much a quadruple top right here. You have from yesterday's aftermarket, then three times this morning, um, came back up towards that 150. So, you know, definitely has the variables interesting to look at, um, but it's on the side list because at the end of the day, you know, we might just see this thing just die off or, you know, even, even worse, just not trade based off of how much volume that we see out there. Other than that, guys, anything else out there that I missed? I have a very, very long list today, which is uh, it's a good thing. A lot of stuff out there that's moving. We had some good earnings, you know, so we'll uh, we'll have our uh, definitely have our hands full with a bunch of stuff to look at coming into the morning. All right, guys, I will talk to everyone in the chat and happy trading.